going on guys, TotalWilty here, and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial. Uh, in this video we are going to be doing uh, custom dimensions, and this one is going to be using the Nether template. So we're going to have a dimension which um, generates like the Nether. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, it might be kind of long, maybe, um, I'm not sure. So first we're going to go ahead and create the dimension init class. So in init we want a new class and we're going to call this dimension init and in here we need to go ahead and create a method so this needs to be public static void register dimensions and in here we need to put dimension manager dot register dimension and id we're going to put two and and for this we are going to put um, never never temp so that's going to stand for never template um, so two is the id um, because um, basically that is how that's the idea of the dimension so the overworld is zero i believe the never is negative one and then the end is one i believe <coughs> um, sometimes i get the end and never confused um, so i'm not too sure and then we want to actually go ahead and create this never temp so up here we're going to want to do a public static final dimension Oh, oh god, what happened there? Public static final dimension type and never underscore temp is equal to dimension type dimension type dot register and we want to go ahead and put um never temp and for the suffix you want underscore never uh never temp we want that all lowercase for the id we're going to put two um for the provider you want to go ahead and put um dimension never temp dot class and for the keep loaded we put that to false unless you want your um, dimension to be constantly loaded in which case you can set this to, to, uh, to true but obviously that can cause a lot of lag um, in, a, in another video at some point um, I'm going to show you how we can make this a configurable number um, so you know the person using the mod can change that number um, depending on whether it collides because that will most likely collide with other mods um, obviously what you can do if you want to is you can go ahead and put this to a number like um, okay so um, sorry about the the cut here um, but I would just like to mention that um, from here the recording did not work um, so I am re-recording everything here um, just so you know um, yeah, so this isn't a whole new video, but I'm basically continuing from here on a different um, day. This is like three weeks later, so I'm not recoding everything. I'm just going to be going over everything. So this is going to be slightly different. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be how how quite it's going to work. So I've already created all the classes, um, but basically it didn't record. Um, my recording software has just stopped recording. I think that's because I am running out of space on my computer. Um, so what I should probably do, just really quickly, is just empty my recycle bin. Because there's about 40 gigabyte, 50, no, I, I think there's a lot more than that in there actually. So yeah. Um, so what I was saying is um, you can change this number here to any number you want. Um, so like that. Um, actually, no, I don't think you can have it that big. I think the maximum you can have it is the max of a short. So that is um, 
2 to the power of 15, negative 1, which I think is 3, 2, 6, 7, 6. Um, I think that might be wrong. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, 2 to the power of 15, negative 1. 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. So the maximum you can have is 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. And this is because... Um, even though it's an integer value, uh, Minecraft, um, they basically don't like sending integers in packets. Um, and packets are basically what um, it allows you to sync the server and the client. Um, at some point we will go over packets, um, just not right now. Um, but yeah, we will go over packets at some point um, when we do keybinds. Um, and anything else which we'll need. I can't think of anything else, but we will use packets. And we might actually have a tutorial dedicated to packets, but that's all going to be after. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep this to two for now. Um, but, yeah, we will have a config number for that um, when we do config, which is quite important. So we will cover that um, after I've done the dimension te templates. Um, so yeah, next we need to go ahead and create this class, um, dimension never temp, so this one, um, and you just put this in the never template package, which I've created, so you just create a new package for your dim dimension, um, and that will work, so yeah, you need to make sure this ID here is the same as this one, which obviously is going to be much easier, but yeah, so now you can close that, and close that. So, this class needs to extend world provider, and you need to grab all of the um, unimplemented methods. Sorry about that, guys, um, but my cat just came in and uh, made an absolute fuss. Um, so, I just sorted him out. But, uh, so first we'll go over the init method. If you don't have this, you can just um, type it in init, um, and it will come up. Um, and inside this you just need to do this dot biome provider is equal to a new biome provider custom this is a class we will have um, later and um, that needs to take in this dot world dot get seed so it takes in a long value which is the seed basically what this is um, is it just initializes the biome provider so the thing that provides the biomes uh, it's just a rather simple thing um, but you need to have that next is git dimension type so obviously this is going to be um, our dimension from dimension in it so ours is never temp so we we'll just return dimension it dot never temp um, next we need to just create the chunk generator uh, most of these are pretty self-explanatory methods um, but create your chunk generator basically um, creates the chunk generator. Um, so ours is the never gen template that takes in this dot world um, a boolean which is generate. So you obviously want it to generate um, and the long seed. So the seed of the world. Um, so we will create that class later as well. Um, next is is surface world so I believe this is an optional method um, but there you go it returns true if the main if it's the main surface world but false if it's the never or end uh, can respawn here so this is basically whether the player can um, you know place if they can set their spawn point there and actually spawn in that dimension. Um, which obviously the never in the end you can't do um, but we're going to have that true and we're going to have this one false does xz show fog so this is basically um, a fog thing which you can get it makes it really kind of low visibility um, I just added this just because it looks really cool and it's a boolean so you just return true or false <coughs> um get fog color so this is a rgb value of the fog um 
so it's a vec 3d um, and it has to be a double so you just get the rgb number and you divide it by 255 d for each for rg and b um, and you put that in a new vec 3d because that's what it requires um, next is get cloud height so basically this is the height of the clouds um, yeah so if that should map spin uh, it's basically whether the map spins so um, when you're in the never or the end um, basically your little icon on the map will spin um, and that's whether it should spin or not get movement factor so obviously you know the, the never um, is eight times more blocks than the overworld I think um, it might be eight I don't know it's different through different versions um, so yeah next is generate light brightness table uh, so you will just want to copy this one from uh, either the video or the github um, as it's just a bit of math to generate the lights the light brightness so there's that next is a never gen template so this you will want to copy the whole entire thing from my github um, it's a very big class and basically just generates the chunks um, so obviously this implements iChunk generator so here you can go ahead and change the block states so here the block is that is usually never rack so main block you can change this to block in it dot um, whatever block dot get default state you can change the air you can change the bedrock um, you can change the liquid which I've just left as water um, you can change the gravel and soul sand so this one's gravel no that one's soul sand this one is gravel I think so obviously you can change that um, and yeah that's probably all you want to change in this one um, you can add any world gen features right here um, if you want so uh, yeah you can you can do that <clears throat> um, and you won't really want to change anything else if you understand the math obviously you can change some of these um, I personally I've got to be honest I don't understand the maths um, but this is all basically Minecraft default maths um, it's, it's just what Minecraft has for the never um, here actually you want to change this to a biome I think that's basically the base biome of the dimension so you can have obviously multiple biomes um, but if you want a base biome so um, the biome that your dimension suits the most you just put here basically um, and yeah you will want to keep all the rest the same so yeah that's those two classes done what did I change in here okay next is the biome provider custom so you obviously want to go ahead and put this in um, well you can put it in the world package that's what I've done because it's not just the never template um, you'll use this for all your dimensions or yeah all the dimensions that you have you will use the same class um, so yeah this basically extends bio provider uh, oh, me. so you need to just create these variables you probably just want to copy this from the github because once again it's a bit of maths and um, just annoying stuff really um, and I've already got it done for you um, we wouldn't write this out in the tutorial anyways I would just copy it because it is a big class um, well, it's not big class just mathy and stuff so yeah that's that uh, next is gen layer fix test so this basically fixes the generation layering um, uh, for our dimension so um, just put this in the world in fact you probably want to put it in the never template class 
yeah, you, you want to put it in the package for your dimension, this one. Um, just because it is more suited to your dimension. Um, you can copy this from the video if you want, because it is just a small class. It doesn't extend anything, doesn't implement anything. And yeah, it, it does just create the world. So it is rather simple understanding. Um, but obviously you do have to get a lot of it from the Minecraft code. Next, um, we obviously need to go ahead and register um, this. So I don't know if I've already covered this or not, but just in case I haven't, um, you do dimension it, register dimensions in pre in it. Um, and I think that's actually all you need to do. I think so. So now obviously we have our custom teleport command. So let's go ahead and test it on our dimension. I already know it works by the way, because if you have watched the teleport command, then, you know, you will need to know that. Um, and I will be doing a video on how to create a portal to your dimension, which will be nice. Um, as lots of people have been asking for this on different places. I've seen it loads of places. And people don't know how to do it. So I figured I will cover it. So let's go ahead and run the game. Oh. Ah, why does it always do this? Yeah, go ahead, click run, and yeah, I will see you guys in the game. All right, so guys, we just got in the game, as you can see, and uh, obviously I'm on the Obsidian platform. Um, you'll see why in a mo. So let's just go ahead, destroy that, just like that, beautiful. So you can obviously do TP dim, and I can do two. And it will load terrain, and here we are. After my game just loads, here you go. So obviously, uh, <laughs> mine looks very interesting due to the fact that I use bookshelves and gold ore. Um, and for the gravel, I used something. What did I use for the gravel? Let me see if I can find it. But uh, yeah, this is this is the dimension. Um, really? Um, that's that's it. I don't know why I'm getting these lag spikes. Let me have a look. Just, just, just my game being a bit slow. I think this is it. <laughs> there really wasn't much to it. It's it's a pretty small, simple tutorial. Um, and yeah, sorry for the delay on this tutorial, guys. Um, but I'm on a, a big project um, recently, um, which you will see. See, that's glass, by the way. Um. But yeah, it's a really big project, and um, I will update you on it soon. It, it, it's really going to be, it's, it's a massive project I'm working on. Some people already do know about it, um, and, but right now it's not at a very big stage. It's basically um, small at the moment, and I personally think it's going to be very useful to Minecraft modders for all versions, eventually. But it's going to take its time, um, and you will see what I'm talking about soon. Um, well, I say soon. I don't know, actually. I, I really don't know. I can't tell you a date or whenever. I, I can't tell you, um, because I, I don't have a planned date for it. Um, yeah, I don't want to share too much about it. Um, obviously, some people do already know about it, but I'm, I'm not going to share too much because I'm, I'm not guaranteeing anything. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed it, please do be sure to share. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be um, possibly custom paintings. So, yes, I am going to be doing an overworld template and an end template, um, but for now, I'm just going to do the never, um, and I'm just going to give it a few days, maybe, um, and then I will do end and overworld i'll probably do overworld first just because that's more requested and i think a lot of people do like the never one so for now i've just done the never one then i'll do overworld and then it will be the end so yeah um, i will see you guys then good bye